Hey, Paul Avis here, beautiful spa, Pickering, Ontario, Canada. Listen, we're going to talk about today are jeans. Right? These are probably Levi jeans. But what I want to talk about is a society that's now 5,000 plus years old, that being the Chinese society. And unlike Levi jeans, which are probably made in China, what we really want to talk about here is longevity jeans. Longevity, of course, means to stretch out one's life. And how do we do that? Well, the first thing we do is when we really start getting hungry, we think we've got to eat, we got to eat. Provided you're not a diabetic or something like that, just normal people. What to do is try to stretch it an extra 30 minutes before you eat something. And the Chinese believe by stretching this 30 minute period, that will activate the longevity genes. The other thing we want to do is try to eat maybe five small meals a day and eat balanced meals. Don't eat just all carbohydrate. Don't eat just uh, uh, lettuce and, and, and vegetables and fruits, okay, for your meal. Okay? Always try to eat a protein with the meal, a fat with the meal, and a carbohydrate. Okay? And by doing this, okay, we will actually get our longevity's, longevity genes working. However, at the same time we talk about that, okay, that's great for a breakfast meal to eat all three food groups. But at lunchtime, you should make a choice. You could either eat uh, a fruit, okay, a carbohydrate and fat, or a carbohydrate and protein. At lunchtime, never eat them both at the same time. The same thing at dinner, always have a protein, but if you ate a carbohydrate at lunchtime, then at night you would eat your fat. So really what we're talking about is this. In the morning, I could have my, my bacon, my egg, my cereal, my oatmeal, my milk, a grapefruit and a banana, for example. Then at lunchtime, I could have a chicken salad, okay, with my protein, my chicken salad, okay, and then at dinner time, I could have a um, small piece of um, uh, meat, okay, with possibly a baked potato, with uh, sour cream on it, maybe cheese on it. That would be my fat coming into my diet. <clears throat> if we can do this, folks, we'll act activate our longevity genes by eating five times a day as opposed to one meal. Overeating, okay, uh, overeating accomplishes nothing in the body. Matter of fact, when you overeat, the body will start putting all of that into fat. And trust me, I used to be 356. I'm still overweight. Insulin, we'll talk about that another topic. Okay? You do not want to get fat. You do not want insulin because when you get fat, it'll shorten your lifespan. There is no gain to being overweight. Let's make that clear. The only bad things happen when you're overweight. So if you want to activate your longevity gene, please don't get overweight. Please do not become a type 2 diabetic becoming insulin resistant. Okay? These are all bad things, very bad. Nothing good can come of it. So let's activate our longevity genes by getting smarter. And most importantly, hey, let's enjoy life. Let's enjoy food. But let's be careful what we're putting in and when we're putting it in and the quantity. Nothing gained by eating a lot of something, okay? Nothing gained at all. So that's it, folks. Don't ever get like I was, 356 with not much for future. I've lost the weight, but now I'm an in a diabetic too and in some therapy. I'm trying to get off the insulin. We'll talk about that another time. But in the meantime, five meals a day, small, balance them. Always have a protein. And what's a protein? If it has eyes, it walks, it runs, it swims, it's a protein. Everything else is sugar and fat comes from both groups. It's that simple, folks. Okay? Learn it, do it, and live a long time.